Hello, Brian from quantlabs.net here. Uh, I just want to show you something very critical that uh, may be a deciding factor on what uh, trading platform I go with for uh, Java. Um, right now, you're looking at uh, my CentOS Linux environment. It's a virtual machine from uh, VirtualBox. So, anyways, let me show you how this uh, R package works. Um, essentially, uh, there's this package our package called our caller uh, version 2 there's a variety of uh, new functionality in this uh, package seems to work okay um, first thing you gotta do is obviously install it um, typically what I do is I just use my R studio do an install here and then um, do uh, the the install but what we're looking for is something called R universe um, or universal so you just install it and off it goes make sure you uh, activate it for your uh, our environment just click on that guy right there um, so that's from the RN what you need to do now from the coding end there is a blog entry um, which is right here um, we're just going to focus on the first example um, but essentially you need to download the proper jar file from uh, this U URL right here, which is here. Um, now this is where it gets interesting. This uh, R caller project, which is a Google co uh, on Google code. Um, I'm right now using the R caller 2.07 jar. These other jar files don't seem to work and the reason is because some of the functionality uh, in this example, which is all right here, um, has been deprecated as of uh, later versions. So 2.07 is the latest or the last version that has these uh, methods of double ar add, double array, add our code, all that stuff. Let me show you that. So if you look in the um, in the Eclipse, which uh, I just copied into it, create a new project, blah 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 blah. Showing how to do that from the Java side, hopefully. <laughs> um, essentially, it's call it a new project, call it uh, R caller, and then create a new class in your source. Uh, where is it? New source, and then just create a new class. In this case, it, so all we need to do is copy source code into our Eclipse into this uh, new class. We call it test one dot Java. Uh, that's from here. Um, this test one here, so this, you don't really need this package definition, but uh, all this other stuff. Just copy it over into your uh, Eclipse, just like this. That's it. Now, uh, as I was mentioning about the deprecation of certain methods, uh, these are them, uh, the ones that are struck out. Um, but for whatever reason, um, they've been uh, taken out, whatever. Uh, I'm sure they can be updated somehow along the way. Warnings will be issued because of it. But nonetheless, what we're looking for is we need to define the uh, where our, our executable is, uh, which is here, um, as well as we create a, a vector or a double of array in, in the world of Java. Um, and then we just transfer it over into R uh, from numbers to X. Uh, you do start a plot I guess and just add the code um, which this right here is an R function um, and it's gonna obviously call this X vector from the Java which is this numbers uh, double array and everything works run only get plot blah 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 let's check it out so there you go there's a plot for R caller uh, it's from within R um, so it does seem to work just fine um, I haven't played with the other examples, but uh, I just want to show you that can work.